What's up beautiful people? I'm the Quaint Boss and on today's episode of The Quaint Pursuit, we're going to be talking all about sewing supplies. If you're new to sewing, you might be wondering what tools do you need? I'm going to share with you all the tools that I've been using over the years of sewing that I simply can't do without. I'll leave some links down below where you can find all these items, but without further ado, let's get started. In sewing, fabric shares will be your best friend. This is how you're going to cut your fabric. Some people like to use rotary cutters, but I find that using regular fabric shares works just fine for me. You're also gonna need paper scissors. This is gonna be for cutting pattern paper and other paper that you might use in your sewing experience. You should never use your paper scissors on fabric and you should never use your fabric scissors on paper. Tape measure. This is for measuring bodies and garments so if you're going to be making a shirt for example you will need to measure the model or whoever you're making the shirt for here i'm measuring the length of some shorts that i made just yesterday so you'll definitely need a tape measure and I recommend getting a tape measure that is as long as possible. You're going to need pattern paper too. And this is going to be for making sewing patterns. You can use brown pattern paper. You can use white pattern paper. You can use pattern paper that has dots on it, that has lines on it. You're going to need writing stuff. So that includes stuff like pens, markers, pencils, and markers are going to come in handy for labeling your patterns. You're going to need tailor's chalk to mark and draw without staining your garment or paper. You can use it to draw patterns and you can use it to make marks on fabric. But once you wash the garment, the tailor's chalk will come out. You're gonna need a ruler like this. And what I love about this ruler is all the square grids the lines serve as a really good guideline whenever I'm drawing lines and I want to keep them straight. You're also going to need a right angle ruler. And this is going to come in handy when you're making patterns. You're going to need a French curve. And the French curve is going to come in handy for drawing hip curves, for drawing armholes, for drawing necklines. Any curve that you need to draw, the French curve definitely comes in handy. This is a seam ripper. Seam ripper does exactly what it says. It rips seams. So it pulls out threads. If you've made a mistake, you definitely need a seam ripper for that. So this is me using my seam ripper to remove some stitches that I made. And this is a tracing wheel. A tracing wheel is used alongside tracing paper. So what you'll do 
is that you use this tracing paper as sort of an alternative for making marks on fabric so I'm gonna show you with this white piece of fabric I'm just tracing a line along the top surface and what happens is that the tracing wheel and the tracing paper forms this yellow line on the other side and when I wash this it's gonna come out just like Taylor's chalk so the way that this works is that it has two sides one side that's chalky and another side that's glossy the chalky side is the side that usually makes the marks you're gonna need extra bobbins this usually comes with your sewing machine but I'm just saying get extra bobbins because you will need them when you need to roll up different colors of threads. I also recommend having a small screwdriver. This is a flat head screwdriver but I also recommend having the other screwdrivers. I believe they call it a Phillips screwdriver. And this comes in handy when I'm changing the different presser feet on my sewing machine as well as when I'm changing the needles on my sewing machine. Which reminds me, you're gonna need needles. So if you're using a domestic sewing machine, your needles wouldn't come in packs like these. But if you're using an industrial sewing machine, this is what your needles would come in and they come in different sizes and you will need bigger needles for thicker fabrics and smaller needles for thinner fabrics. And if you sew with a domestic sewing machine, then you will need special needles for stretch fabric, for denim. You'll also need safety pins. And I recommend having safety pins for times like these when you need to turn out a strap loop. So let's say I was making a bikini or I'm making a, a crop top that requires some strap loops. This is how that would come in handy. So I would use the safety pin in order to turn it out it comes out just like this and I can take the safety pin off of the other end however I have an alternative this I call a loop turner but it's really a hanger that I straightened into one long piece and I'll pretty much just use that to turn the inside of the loop outside so it gives the same result but in my opinion it's easier you're gonna need a pin cushion with pins and this is gonna come in handy when you're pinning fabrics together to stitch a garment or when you're pinning a sewing pattern to fabric in order to cut it from the fabric. You also find it useful to have a tweezer and this is going to come in handy when let's say for example you want to pick up a thread that you may not be able to reach with your fingers. Those moments might be rare, but it's still good to have it. This is a zipper foot and you definitely need a zipper foot if you plan on stitching anything that requires a zipper, for example, a fly extension or the back of a dress. Your zipper foot will look different if you have a domestic or an industrial sewing machine. And if you stitch with an industrial sewing machine, you're gonna need sewing machine oil for maintenance purposes. This right here is a meter rule 
and I like to have this for when I'm making my patterns whenever I need to draw any very long lines my meter rule definitely comes in handy so it's good to have a collection of rulers for your pattern drafting purposes you definitely can't do without an iron you're gonna need to iron seams and interfacing so definitely get an iron and if you want you could get yourself one of these things for cutting threads they definitely come in handy you're definitely gonna need some hand sewing needles for stitching on buttons and other details like sequins and if you have a fair of threading needles then you could always get a needle threader like this one right here and last but not least, you're gonna need a sewing machine, whether that's a domestic or an industrial one. So if you're ready to start sewing, then check out my sewing and pattern making playlist next. And if you like this list, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to The Quay Pursuit for more business development and sewing content. If there are any tools that I didn't mention, leave those in the comments down below. I would really, really, really appreciate your feedback. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.